Hello everyone, this is Walking Problem. Um, I was supposed to do a different video, uh, and then I saw Tim Poo's latest video by Tim Cast, uh, Tim Poo, and I went to look up the article, uh, and I got a freaking shock because unapproved vials of smallpox is found at a pens. Pennsylvania lab. Smallpox is uh, supposed to be uh, more or less eliminated uh, virus disease that actually kills and way faster than COVID-19. It's actually a way worse, more powerful virus than COVID-19 ever is. And not just that, it will cause scarring, it will cause you to look hot, look like a terrible, you know, this is the sort of scary shit that smallpox uh, is. You definitely do not want to get smallpox. And it's supposed to, uh, if I'm not wrong, it's supposed to have already um, been eliminated. You see, the deadly viral infectious disease that has been completely eradicated, which means that we no longer have uh, the means of the we may not even we may not also have the vaccination or we may not even have the immunity towards uh, this virus so so let's read uh quickly so fbi is investigating how several vials of uh, smallpox came to be uh, in the vaccine. Oh, I just want to add, this is going to be a conspiracy video. So uh, we will talk about the conspiracy theories later. Uh, just, well, let's get the facts first. So the FBI and uh, CDC is actually uh, looking into the 15 vials, questionable vials. So they actually may not know what's inside, but they are found in the Merck facility freezer outside Philadelphia. There's a spelling error here. And then um, five of the vials are labeled smallpox, then is labeled as vaccinia. vaccinia. So I searched what is vaccinia, um, and uh, vaccinia is actually uh, also smallpox, if I'm not wrong. Vaccinia, then, 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 then the vaccinia, no, small, smallpox vaccine. So vaccinia, smallpox. So vaccinia is a, a form of smallpox as well. Uh, so there's no indication that anyone is exposed uh, to the small number of frozen vials. So the vials are labeled smallpox, then incidentally discovered by the lab worker who is cleaning out the freezer in the facility. The, this uh, facility conducts a uh, vaccine research. So, uh, so I think it's not supposed to be there. And then, um, so he, they caught the police. So law enforcement is, uh, in it, CDC is in it as well, uh, to investigate. So the lab worker discovered was wearing gloves and face masks. So, so the so the art, the article later, you know, just put the background about smallpox. And so the WHO declared smallpox eradicated in 1980 and uh, killing about 30% of it, of those that caught it. So this is at least a hundred times uh, more deadly than uh, COVID-19. Because COVID nineteen is not even actually three uh, percent. If you get the treatment, uh, actually, it's gonna be like a zero point three percent, like what it is uh, in Singapore. So, um, so you used to uh, infect fifteen million people globally, which means that thirty percent die means every year there will be like mass, mass, mass. I don't know one point five million people around there. No, no, 30%. Uh, I forget it. I don't want to count. So yeah, a lot of people die yearly from smallpox. And uh, eventually, there's a massive global vaccination campaign which ends the disease. Which comes back to the conspiracy theories. So, of course, we do not know, know what's the facts here. But as I have a, you know, a conspiracy theory uh, segment, and this actually will is a good segue into uh, 
the conspiracy theory. So let's investigate, uh, let's discuss, you know, what could be the the worst case scenario. What is this about uh, in the worst possible way, you know, the, the true conspiracies that could be, you know, related to this thing. Because, of course, we know nothing now. Uh, we are just want that we just want to discuss uh you know what could be so we can we talk about this so that we do not get surprised later um i think that would be a better way to put it so i think the worst thing i can think of is that uh the big pharma so big pharma is earning so much money from uh, COVID 19. Uh, according i heard my mom say uh she heard on the news that they are earning like Every minute was like forty five thousand US dollars. Every every second or every minute, like the kind of like ridiculous numbers, and because so many people is getting vaccinated all around the world, so and then the vaccination, uh, the thing, it, the the vaccine itself is, you know, they they charge quite expensive, and they and what's best is that they do not even need to take legal uh, responsibility if you get any of the side effects. Which means that the whole Singapore where I am, uh, we are like eighty-seven percent or more, uh, fully vaccinated. So, if let's say you know this vaccine co- uh, COVID nineteen vaccine causes a uh, death in two years time, and then the whole of Singapore will be gone, we will be like fully wiped out. So, it will be a dystopia. So, and the best part is, the the Pfizer and Moderna and all these vaccine companies will not need to be legally responsible for this uh, massacre. That could happen. We don't know. I, I'm vaccinated. So if there's anything wrong with the vaccine, then uh, I'll probably will get it uh, in time to come. And and probably because how much money they have earned through the COVID-19 uh, vaccination, uh, if there is a COVID-19 version of the smallpox happening around the world, can you imagine how much money because it will be so much more urgent, you know, because 30% death rate, and this is highly contagious. Uh, if I'm not wrong, smallpox is highly contagious. That, uh, let's see. Let's look at the Wikipedia. Uh, so the risk of death is 30%, higher, higher rate among babies. Well, you see, this is so horrible. This is terrible, terrible. Can you see this? Oh my God. So, this i'm not sh- transmission let's jump to transmission i want to see how fast so it's also through airborne so this is no difference that means if if the conspiracy is that there is someone you know some hidden government or you know shadow uh, the deep state or big pharma or some terrorist organization which wants us to continue to wear masks for the eternity we all have to, you know, this is way worse than COVID-19. This, this also can occur through inhalation, through airborne droplets. And also, so oral, nasal, so it, it can, it's also transmitted through prolonged face-to-face contact. And within a distance of 1.8, this is exactly what uh, happens in COVID-19. It's the exact same thing. So, um, Rarely, it was spread uh, through enclosed settings. Uh, you can cross the placenta. So that means you can affect babies. So it's highly contagious and gen- generally spread, spread more slowly and less widely than other viral because it requires close contact. What? Isn't that COVID-19 as well? So based on the COVID-19 numbers, okay, the and imagine the death rate is 30%. Because this is exactly just like uh, COVID-19. Although they call it uh, spread slowly and less widely because it requires close contact. But COVID-19 actually requires close contact as well. It's not so easy to actually co- catch uh, COVID-19. It's actually, you need prolonged close contact in order to ha- to get enough of this virus into your body. And the, the, and the danger about smallpox now is that we are already, you know, three generations away um, from the fully vaccinated uh, generation that actually eliminated smallpox because by the time 
So they, they declared smallpox uh, eradicated in the 1980. But for me, I'm born in 1983, which means that only my mom's generation or you know people who are above who are older than me that means they are now 40 years old and above are vaccinated for smallpox and i'm not even sure if they are all of them are vaccinated vaccinated for smallpox i suppose they are so we are talking about you no know, half the world's population at least is now currently unvaccinated at least half probably more so so there is a lot of money to be made and there, there is you no know, certain you know, financial incentive for those that wants to wants people to continue to wear masks maybe that's political incentive and then there will be the people that the big pharma that actually want to produce more vaccines because COVID-19 is going to be eradicated COVID-19 I'm sure by end of next year it will be a non-issue because the the treatments for COVID-19 is have been so effective you just look at look at Tim Pool, you look at Joe Rogan. All these people are in Donald Trump as well, who was one of the first to take the the what's that call? Regeneron. So COVID nineteen is gonna be a non issue next year. Everything is gonna go back to normal. And the big pharma is now addicted. It's like drug. So they already addicted to this, you know, abnormal economics of uh Vi uh, virus infection pandemic kind of world where they earn insane and not obscene amount of money from it it's good business it's very very good business and COVID-19 is going to be it's going to be like flu you know pe people are just it's no longer going to take it seriously uh they are trying to push it to the to the children uh Singapore just announced uh they're going to uh, get volunteers to you know to do clinical trial. Uh, I think it's a really bad idea. I don't think children needs to be vaccinated, uh, given how unlikely that they will be uh, affected by COVID nineteen. So the 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 entire trend and momentum for COVID nineteen vaccine is dying. That's why, if you want to think in a negative way about big pharma. This will be good money, seriously. And remember, the people who are above 40 is likely to be all vaccinated for smallpox. That means it's the young people. It will be the opposite of COVID-19. You know, COVID-19 affect, uh, uh, affects uh, people who are above 40 and especially above 50 more. And then the young people are less likely to be affected. Smallpox is the opposite because above 40s are already all vaccinated. So it will be people like me, the young children, uh, people in the 20s, the teenagers, the babies, they'll be all needing vaccination. And that will represent another huge amount of money to be made. So smallpox. Uh, so if you have smallpox accidentally, you know, accidentally released within a lab, and then you know spread out just like what happened in Wuhan there um, but maybe this time around happened in the United States then they could very well have a good uh, excuse uh, to to you know sell vaccines for smallpox again because I don't think I have taken any smallpox as a vaccine for what I understood let's see the uh, what is the vaccine vaccine not sure treatment pre prevention uh inoculation dry vex i don't think i think i don't think i i know what's the vaccination for smallpox i might be vaccinated i might not be vaccinated for smallpox so it's uh i'm not too sure uh what's the vaccine then for the smallpox let's see oh my god it's so terrible so the other possibility that I I can imagine in terms of a conspiracy is that this could be a biological warfare by a foreign power against the United, United States. It could be Russia, or it could be China. Although for most cases to nowadays, I think it's usually China. 
I do, I personally have very little, you know, uh, urge to think that it's a uh, Russia. Russia only requires Intel. They don't need they don't need to you know go on a hybrid warfare against the United States. They have no no need to actually you know definitively attack the uh, United States. But China is different. China is actually in an active war uh, with the United States. It's an active war. It's just not connected yet. Uh, so, so to for to imagine, you know, planting you no know, smallpox uh, within the United States is not uh, unimaginable, because I have been also pondering, you know, some of the COVID nineteen cases uh, in last year. Uh, some of them that you know during one of the later waves are actually planted rather you know even like Donald Trump catching a virus I think that was more like planted than you know because everyone all the guests was tested so for for the virus to get into White House was quite surprising actually which you know Trump have uh, gone through mo most of the year uh, without catching COVID-19 it's only at that very event uh, the garden event uh, that he caught and then somehow it, the virus got in it could be planted as well uh, it's very hard to say I don't the, of course this is conspiracy theory uh, I'm not saying these are facts we are just discussing so smallpox as a weapon big pharma is likely to be uh, one of the biggest uh, you know cul uh, suspect you know for you know uh, essential uh, a possible biological terrorism because if you are a terrorist, let's say you are some extremist, it's very unlikely that you want to you know, unleash a biological weapon because you, you yourself wouldn't want to suffer. Uh, you, wrote, you want to have a quick death than to suffer a slow death. So this... And then uh, interestingly is that this is not the first time they stumbled across a smallpox sample. They found six valves in 2014 in the uh, NIH campus in Maryland. Two valves contain viable virus. So the question would be why are these virus still around? It's, it's rather concerning, right? That means there are some people that are keeping this virus around. No, anticipating that they might need to use it one day for whatever reason, be it war, be it terrorism, it for money like what uh, I have been discussing that is the more likely you know scenario then what is more concerning was that in November the 9th uh, which is just nine days ago uh, Bill Gates warned that smallpox terror attacks uh, which he seeks a research fund so he warned of bioterrorism that is a greater threat than natural occurring and the epidemics. So he wanted uh, money and uh, and he warned of smallpox. He also, the, the, the what is scary thing is that he also warned about COVID-19 as well. He warned about coronavirus uh, years, a few years before uh, our current coronavirus uh, pandemic hit. And um, when he talked about so whenever Bill Gates says something, it's very dangerous because there's high chance that it's gonna happen. Maybe he plots something and no. Maybe he's that evil guy. Maybe he is not. So but when he says something, um we need to take notice because he if anyone is in the know, anyone to know any secrets, he will be one of the most powerful and richest guy in the world. And when he says something like that, maybe he's the good guy, you know. Maybe he's the one that is on. He he found out the the conspiracy and plot for someone to use smallpox as a terror attack weapon, and then he know about it, and then he's trying to prevent it. He might be the good guy, you know. He might not be the evil guy, but he also could be the evil guy. Um, although I don't think so, because but he definitely have investment in big pharma as well. So, as I said, it's conspiracy theory. None of this is. We don't know what what is the real truth, but this is a concerning news, um, and 
I really hope I do not need to wear mask anymore next year. Uh, there's a mask mandate in Singapore. That's her vaccine mandate, essentially, uh, in Singapore. So, and I, I really do not want to you know, live like this next year. I want to go back to normal life. I want to play football. Uh, right. This is concerning. 30% death rate. And it affects uh, infants more. And people below 40 are mostly unvaccinated against smallpox. So, you figure. Um, and um, if you have any thoughts, you know, do comment below. Um, I, I almost always reply to everyone. If not, I would at least give a thumbs up. So, uh, do comment. What's your opinion? What do you think? And if you, you know say something very intriguing you know that could become a new video that we can discuss about uh what is your theory do you think about this smallpox uh, bows uh let me know and uh, i'll see you in the next video